All right, another question that gets asked a lot on the Scratch Live forums is, what if you accidentally delete a crate file? How do you get it back into Scratch Live? So I'm going to demonstrate this. Let's highlight this crate file, and we're going to press Control plus Delete to delete it. And oh crap, I just deleted the crate file. How do I get it back now? Uh, well, you got to close out of Scratch Live first of all. And now when you delete a crate file, it goes into your trash or recycle bin. And if we go in there, we should see our July 2008.crate file. So how do we get this file back into Scratch Live to show? Well, depending on where you store your music, it will depend on where you drag this file to. If you store all your music on your internal drive, then you will have a Scratch Live folder located in your music folder on a Mac or your My Music folder if you're on a PC. And as you can see here, here is the Scratch Live folder. Now if we go into this folder, we should see something like this should have a database file, crate folder, subcrate folder. Now we need to drag it back into the subcrate folder. So let's double click to go into that folder. And then you just simply need to drag the crate file from the trash back into the subcrate folder, like so. Now that is for if you store your music on an internal drive. If you store your music on an external drive, then you will have a scratch live folder also on the root level of the external drive. And you just simply do the same thing. You drag the crate file back into the subcrate folder and the scratch life folder on the root level of your external drive. And that is it basically. So let's close this windows now and let's open scratch live again and we should see the crate file is back. Yay! So that is how you put crate files back into scratch live if you accidentally delete them. Now to prevent this from happening in the first place, you should go into the setup menu, go to the library tab, and you'll see this protect the library option. Check that off. Now if that option is checked, you cannot highlight a crate file and you cannot control delete it out. And you can also you also cannot edit any tracks or any of their ID3 tags. And you also cannot delete any track out of the crate. So with the protect library option, you cannot delete tracks, edit tracks, or delete crates. So you might want to check that if you do this a lot. But there you go. That is how you get your crates back in Scratch Live. You just need to drag the crate file from the trash back into the subcrate folder.